But what is today's word? Jump. Jump. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump up, but get down. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am. I am. Just like God said in the Bible. <laughs> um, and this year is Frank looking great as always, feeling the tan theme. Uh, the color of the leaves are falling down. It is November. They're it's, down. They're down. They're coming down. I, they're all the way down. But um, great day to be alive. Great to see you as always. Hope your weekend was great. Um, Veterans Day weekend. It's, it's always, was it? Well, Friday was Veterans Day. Friday was Veterans Day. I don't think anyone calls it Veterans Day weekend, but why not? Why not give a whole weekend to it? Um, I'll do, do that. people have off? <clears throat> Some schools have off on Veterans Day. Yeah, if 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 you had off, then it turns then, into a three day weekend. Yeah, it would be a week. It would be. I don't know. Is it? Is it? We want it not to be. Oh, it's perfect. You know, don't let good get in the way of perfect. But this week is a non-holiday week, right? And then next week will be Thanksgiving week. It is next weekend. Yikes! Weekend. Time time flies. Well, it'll be next Thursday, but then that's like Thanksgiving weekend. Sixteen and seven. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You're right. Yeah. So so this week is, is sort of like the in-between. It's a, it's a nice, good, solid Maybe week. that's why the supermarket is so full. You think they're gone that early? No. Uh, the, these people only had a few things in their hands. So you went to the supermarket earlier and said that- um, Second day in a row that I walked in and I walked back out because the line was too long and I'm not really great with lines. Maybe. People shop- uh, not as often. We go to the supermarket all the time. Yeah. You need a, it's close to us. You, you need one apple. You go to the supermarket, get one apple. Some people shop for like two weeks at a time, right? Like they, they, they'll spend $200 for, you know, for a family. Yeah, of course. And they'll stock up. I wonder if it's not Thanksgiving shopping, but it's everyone saying, let's get our week of shopping done now. So no, we, I don't know because these people were in bag your own. So there, it was just, it was, they only had stuff in their hands. Well, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know why it was so busy. Also, um, we're not supposed to tell people we go to the supermarket every day because um, it's bad for the environment. To go to the supermarket every day? Yes. Why? Because of the gas. Who said we drove? I forgot. Yeah, we didn't try. <laughs> no, I ride my bicycle. So do I. I roller yeah. skate. Yeah. <laughs> I um I I take my hang glider, on it. Oh wow! Yeah, and I don't I don't do the whole gasoline thing. No. No, we're over that. I my car's electric. I just remembered. Yeah, I'm over the uh, the uh, gas powered cars. Gas powered cars. Yeah, you know like when you find out about. You new should move to California. They're over it too. You know like when you find out about new technology, mm-hmm. and then you're like, oh shoot, we gotta catch. Like when the first cellular phone came out in what yeah. 1990. Yeah. The big ones that the businessmen have. Right. It's like, this is revolutionary. And then you remember, oh, we got to wait 20 years till the iPhone. At the time, you weren't thinking that because okay. it wasn't there. And what is your connection to the car? We have like, you know, when you're surfing and you're you're about to catch the, like, the wave, it's coming. Yeah, right. And you know it's going to be a good one. Right. But you got to wait for it to come in. But the electric cars are fully, fully out but there. But not, not where they're... They're very fully out there. We're at like, we're at like the... The, the Motorola Razor of the cell phone era. I don't know if that's true. It's true. Everyone, there's so many electric cars. Okay, I know. And chargers and affordability. We and are we are at like the Motorola Razor BlackBerry era of smartphones mm-hmm. where it's like if you had a black, businessmen would talk about their Blackberries and it'd be exciting. Right. Normal people, you, you weren't rocking a Blackberry. It's what, it was like, oh, it's a sort of a specialized thing. But you know a million people who have a Blackberry. But... I want to get to the iPhone SC where it's like you're giving kids iPhones and stuff. I want an electric car. You want one? Well, yeah. no, that's what I'm saying. It's like I, I want to get. I want the ones that are available right now because. Um, so do I. Because I didn't. You know, I didn't. If you look at previous podcasts, I'm going to say I don't want it. And I'll, I'll stick with the gas one and blah, blah, blah. Number one, it's getting cold now where we live yeah. and it heats up. Instantly. Instantly. Instantly, yeah. you go out now. You get in. Do you think you're that's warm. that's a, like an electric car thing, or do you think that's just high end cars? I oh, right, I don't know because like, because obviously the electric cars. Because I thought like a motor had to heat up. I don't know how that works. I don't know either. 
That's number one. Number two is the gas. I mean, the gas yeah. is back over four again, and it's ridiculous and it's annoying, and it's just terrible to watch the dial turn, and you have two gallons and you're at ten dollars. It's like yeah. no, this is not taking me anywhere. Yeah, that's annoying. The only thing, the uh, the only thing annoying about electric cars is the how far can I go before I have to charge? Is it though? That's super annoying. Like, how often are you driving? past 300 miles to worry about that if it's like it's like a phone right like it's literally like the argument of oh well you know cell phones are great but you have to then charge it you don't have to charge your landline it's not the same like if you if you're just if because i do travel a lot and 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 to know that you 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 drove back from florida and you ended up in some sketchy charging places at bad hours exactly i drove back from florida i don't do that every week Uh, yeah when you have a charger at your own house a lot of people don't, by the way. Well, then that's your fault. <laughs> no. But you know what I mean? Like, you have a charger yeah. in your house, you're plugging it in every day. Well, yeah. You should never have to worry about that, like, except for once you're going on trips, which then you were going to stop for gas anyway. I'm going to say most people who have electric cars don't have chargers at their house. I don't know. But I'm glad... People don't even have access, like, to be close to their house when they park. Yeah. That's true. Well, most people. Yeah. They just park on the street. Right. Or a parking lot. Oh, man. All right. Maybe. It's scary maybe, out there. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's, I not, don't know. Maybe it's not time for electric cars. I don't know. I, I, want a, I want a driver, a car and driver. So I that, don't. I do. You know, like people always Please say. Please sit outside. And, are, um, not to, you know, just hammer home the electric car point, but people are very against electric cars. Like, I want to be in control of this vehicle. I don't want that, but I don't want anyone else like it's almost like pumping like people love like who live in Jersey uh-huh. are like, uh, I don't like going anywhere else where I have to pump my own gas. But it's like I don't like when there's ever someone else involved. You Some mean, things are just you'd have to me. talk to them or because like, like, everything. if it's it was like, a town car, you have an, a divider and everything. You I know, know, but like it's I, I just like yeah, I want to be I, hear you. I want to be by myself. I hear like, you. No, I actually now that I think about it. Sometimes I like, don't really want to interact every time. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes I, I don't even want to be driving with someone I know. It's like I just yeah, want, to, I want to be by myself. And I so know. I don't need to. I need to be driving. I'm fine if it's driving me and I'm just there like texting on my phone, whistling while the car is driving itself. Yeah. Gosh, don't, don't there's so much to think driving. about. And it's what, a lot uh, for a Wednesday. When we are not in the market for buying a car. <laughs> We're not. We're not. I, I might be. My car is getting up there. 193,000 miles. Really? Yeah. And it's all you? No, mm. no, I think I'm about 20,000 of those miles. Not even 10. I think I got it at 180, mm. 13,000 miles mm. or more. Mm. Yeah. Honda Fit. It was nice knowing you. Mm-mm. I don't know what my next car is going to be. Maybe an electric car. Hybrid. No. Hybrid. And no. you could get the gas and then you don't have a charger. I I don't want a hybrid. I had a hybrid. You loved Pri- a Prius, yeah. I know, but it's like, once again, it's. I almost wish I didn't know the technology out there because now it's like. Why are you against the hybrid? I don't like it. Why? It's it's not enough of either. Well, of course it is. It's not as expensive as the car that I just put gas in. No, but it's not the same. Give me a, give me gas or give me electric. I don't want none of that in between mumbo jumbo. All right. My top list, my my number one on my car list is not looks, is not gas efficiency, is not um what was the other thing we just mentioned? Um I don't know. <laughs> it is, how do you handle in the snow? Oh, snowmobility. So you'd like a snowmobile. <laughs> yeah, I would actually love a snowmobile if that, <clears throat> if that was normal. Are you sure? Like, would you want a truck that's great in the snow, but like doesn't heat up fast? Yes. You would? Yeah. Ideally, I'd have more than one car because, oh, okay. you know. <laughs> well, listen. <laughs> listen, if we're, if we're, uh, we're getting out of control no, now. No, ideally, because... I don't live in the far north, the Arctic north. So when I say I need a car that handles in the snow, I'm not in Buffalo. Um, but so so therefore, I wouldn't need to be rambling down the road in my snowplow for 12 months of the year. Yeah. So ideally, I would have more than one car. And but but literally, if I had a car that handled um, dependably and like strong and well in the snow, that doesn't even have to have heat. I will put blankets and mittens on. I hate a car that doesn't handle in the snow. I'm kind of the opposite. I, I, I can survive not being able to drive in the snow. 
I've had plenty of cars. I've driven every car known to man. Would you believe that? I saw you on the Guinness yeah. Book of World Records. Um, I love small cars. I don't want like a I don't want like a smart car or anything, but like mm -hmm. hatchbacks. I think I'm a big hatchback guy. Really? I think hatchbacks are the perfect made cars. Mm. They are small and maneuverable. Uh, Cause like now when I drive my Honda Fit all over, I want a better car than Honda Fit, obviously. But um, when I go to a bigger car, I'm like everything is just so much more like. You can't park in some spots. Oh boy! You can't do this. It's like yeah. you can just zip in and out of anywhere. When you're on the highway and there's like uh, a, a, a Mack truck next to you, you can just go underneath that's, the middle of it. It's <laughs> very dangerous. Um, but yeah, and like Tesla have rumored to like be coming out with like an electric hatch. Oh, and that's the other thing. Hatchbacks. It's called hatchback because the trunk opens up, and the seats can go down. So although for a small car, it has so much storage, it doesn't have like a trunk. This is my trunk space. It's like the entire car can be. No, that's true. And I think it's a perfect car. I want a. I want a hatchback. Okay. Give me a hatchback or give me death. Okay. You can get a Volkswagen Rabbit. Rabbit. I think Volkswagen has the GTI. I, I'm talking like in the 80s or something. Uh, they have like a nice hatchback. <laughs> yeah. Um, that I would like. Or I think what Ford has the the Ford Fiesta. No. No, that's just a sedan. No, they have the their hatchback too. Mm -hmm. so, whatever. What was it? A car podcast? Maybe. Carcast? Maybe. Maybe that's what it will turn into. I don't know. But yeah, life's been good for me. You know, just working, enjoying it, enjoying enjoying the days. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, good. Just living living a good the life. Eagles finally lost. I wasn't gonna bring it up. It was a awful, awful. It was. It has to happen. I don't want to talk about sports because, like, Where's there's there's podcasts for that. But there was just one play where he just pulls him down with the face mask and they don't call it. Uh, and then after he pulls him down with the face mask, he fumbles and they score a touchdown right. because of it. So it's like they reviewed the play. Sorry if I'm if I'm not. If we're pushing off the Christian podcast for a little bit. But they're reviewing the play to okay. see if he was down right. by contact. So they're looking at the fact that they missed the face mask call. Oh. That's not something you can challenge. Okay. And then they're like, "Oh, okay," and never called it. He it was our it was Dallas Goddard, one of our great tight ends. Okay. Um, you know, one of the most important people on our team. He's now out for extended time, which means like about four weeks for an injury from that play. Really? We're guarding the face mask and pulled him down. So like, not only did you miss it, not only could that be one of the potential reasons we lost the game, but now you also injured our player? Yeah. The NFL needs to be held at gunpoint. Yeah. I was going to say responsible, but that's not enough. Nah. Held at gunpoint. Um, An old flashback of the NFL is, is it's not, it's current. He plays for the Chicago Bears, but um, a, fl a flashback for us is Nick Foles. Nicky Foles. Nick Foles. They had a baby. He had a baby. Oh, um, congratulations! It's the sixteenth already. It's November sixteenth. I think the baby's born on the seventh. Um, oh, new baby. But sh but I just saw his wife posted the picture of the baby today. Oh, full face. We got to see what the baby looks like. So many people just they hide put their baby. The emoji over the face, and like you don't. We're not going to let you see what this baby looks like. And I, and I it's never. So weird to me. I still don't understand it. I would like, I would almost like you you should do that to your wife before you do it to your baby. Babies are all the same. Like I know. It's when, just so strange. I don't like if, if you really have like you just had a baby, like show me, don't show me baby photos just cause, because I'm like I'm gonna be forced to say how cute when I'm looking at the most redundant baby I've yeah, ever seen. Like, right. Talk, you know like lineups when people get yeah. arrested? Let's let's just do a baby lineup right now. You saw the baby your face, right? Right. I wanna do a baby lineup. Twelve babies. Would you be able to pick it out if they were all white? No. No, that's how lineups work. <laughs> right, right. Lineups work because they get generally <laughs> right round all, face, yeah. bald head. Yeah. yeah. No, um, I don't understand it. And if it's about kidnapping, like, wouldn't the baby just being in the proximity of the Foles family tell you that that's their baby? Yeah. They're like, wait, we've never seen it. Yeah. This could be a cousin. Like, I don't understand. But she showed it. Hello, she showed it. Good for her. His yeah, name is Bo you. Bodhi. 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 That's think, full name or is that nickname? No, that's his name. I don't know. It's like Bodert. It's B O D I E. I think. My name is Bodert. You can call me Bodhi. I. <laughs> I feel it's sorry 
Tori and Nick Foles. I feel like it's overdone. I feel like it's been overdone for quite some time. That's another thing you could do. You could show the face and not give the name. Yeah. Now you have the, Now you can steal their identity. Get another baby and <laughs> or call you, it. You could steal their. Um. You know, a lot of people grab the um the handle for like Instagram or Twitter or something. Oh, Bodie Foles in eighteen years. You better pay up, Nick. No, they do it right now even because people have baby baby um, social media accounts. Yeah. So it's Bodie, and um, I've also seen it spelled B O D E. Bode. But it's that's it's, not going to bode well for the kid. <laughs> but it's pronounced Bodie. I feel like it's overdone. How many Bodies family. do you know? A, there's a, it's very. I feel like it's more West Coast, but it's very. It's overdone. Um, Bodie Edward, and I believe that's Nick's middle name. Oh, how sweet! <clears throat> Big baby. Big, big giant, nine over nine pounds. Over nine pounds, baby. Um, oh man, well, Nick Foles is a big guy. Is he? He's like six four, six is five. He? I think he's like six five. Oh really? Really? Yeah. It's like you'd be surprised how tall he is. Yeah. Um, Do you know he's becoming a pastor? No. We can finally bring it back to the Christian podcast. Hey, he's becoming a pastor. It's the reason we brought talked about all of this to, to segue to this. He's becoming a pastor. He since I think like twenty eighteen, he's been. I guess going to school part time for his master's in divinity. Wow! And he wants to be, I want to be a dentist. He wants to be a pastor, and I guess that will happen after he is done playing football. I don't think he'll go as far as um, who's the man who just lost his wife for go playing too much football. Tom Brady. Tom Brady, and he just wrote a autobiography as well. I don't know if just, but. Nick Foles, that is, wrote yeah. an autobiography, gave all the proceeds. Number five on the New York Times bestseller list, gave all the proceeds to charity. I am, I'm half, <clears throat> I don't want any person who's spreading the Christian message is good. So don't take this as me putting some Christians above other Christians. Okay. I'm happy he's becoming a pastor because it. there was always this thing in me that kind of like, even though it was not my place. And if I asked Nick Foles, I'm like, does this like upset you? He'd be like, of course not. That makes me very happy. When Carson Wentz came to the team, the team that Nick Foles was, he had been on, I think he had a little hiatus, but he was there before and we knew him as an eagle. And Carson Wentz came in very outspokenly. Jesus is number one. Like, and um, kind of took the charge. Like, oh, he's the pastor of the team. Okay. I all like... What's it called? Nick Foles was always a devout Christian and a uh, a believer, and a more than a believer is when you you, you put it out, mm-hmm. but not as like here I am yes. about it, like okay, not okay. not like putting on your Instagram of your right. tweets and stuff. And I always just like wondered. I'm like, does and and because like I feel like even the media try to point like paint it towards like, oh Carson Wentz got his teammates to be more christian by doing like the prayers and stuff right, before right, right. the games and i'm always like is nick Foles there like i've been doing this man interesting yeah but as a good christian he didn't feel like he had to wave a flag around about it and because that's why he won the super bowl and, nick and carson Wentz did. the other day we were talking about carson wentz's charity and um nick Foles has a charity as well but like yeah he, he seems to be much more humble and quiet about it <sighs> yeah we love him we love nick Foles. we also don't like carson wentz we don't. Why are we in this? Because I don't know. Any, well, because he he you know got all mad at our team and left, and then he joined the. Now he's on the Commanders. He got benched from the Commanders. Good, but the Commanders. I never the, even heard of the Commanders. You know them as the. Oh. Yeah, we don't say that anymore. Okay, Washington. Um. So he's on the Washington Commanders. I hate that name. So does everyone else. Commando. Was, I immediately think you don't have underpants on. <laughs> Commander, I just, I just, yeah. I don't like. But their I don't name like is it. the the uh, Washington Commies. No, I'm kidding. They should have just like changed one letter, like the Red Spins or something. One of the biggest. Um, there was a couple of really like, you know, when people say, oh, because they were the like, last year they were the Washington Football Team. Okay. And because they were in a hiatus, they okay. just knew that they weren't doing. And there were so many great ideas really one was like that's um, frustrating one one which i really like because the logo of the native american was not like some of these some of these other offensive ones like that that baseball team the braves um yeah it was actually like drawn by a native american person oh gosh so one was like keep the logo everything washington warriors yeah that's perfect yeah and then there was 
other ones that were like, you could be, how about the, the Washington Red Tails? Yeah. Which the Red Tails, um, you know, like yeah. it, it, it's the Tuskegee Airmen yeah. mm-hmm. and it's, you know, a Washington DC team and they have like, you're only changing the last little bit, the Red Tails. Like, and to go Washington, when you had, it's not even like, oh, we rushed. It, you had a why commander also puts me in mind of of like a white colonist i think it's like commander in chief they're a dc team they're a dc team yeah well, you thought it was washington i thought it was state? a state the whole time no it's washington dc i never knew that i didn't know it for a little bit though weird i don't i prefer it the other way thinking it was over there yeah no it's you can you can go to a game if you want just take a couple hour drive Listen, they stink. Okay, go ahead. Well, we are running. <laughs> what are we doing? We're getting on so many hiatuses. <laughs> Guys, it is Wednesday, which means it is one word Wednesday, a day mm. where we pick a word out of the dictionary and talk about it. Kind of like what we do with everything. Oh, yeah. But except this one is we get the word. Usually we talk and then words come out of our mouths. Yeah. This is a word happens first. Right. Then the rest of the words right. come out of our mouths. That's right. We talk about it just regularly. Spiritually, try to bring some spirituality in it. Maybe the Bible will even make an appearance mm-hmm. if we are so lucky. Mm-hmm. But without further ado, let's get into it. What is today's word? Jump. Jump. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump up, but get down. <laughs> jump. Jump in joy. Jump. Jump for joy. Jump, jump for joy. Jumping jacks. Uh, jump man. What is that? The guy in the parachute? No, jump man is uh, like Michael Jordan's logo. Oh, right, 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 right. Jump rope. Jumper cables. <gasps> Did I strike one of the things? No, I was like, I'm going to have to go to the list because I don't have, I just have jump on the bandwagon. Jumpalaya. <laughs> Okay, jump. What a fun word. I like to jump. Jumping. I can. I, my knee's still recovering. As That's you guys right. Know. You can't jump. It. So you're so. just, you could jump on one leg, but that would be dangerous, maybe. Yeah. And jumping on one leg kind of is not as easy as people make it seem. Do people make it seem easy? No. Children make it seem easy. Yeah. Children. That's part of hopscotch, is jumping on one leg. I never understood hopscotch. Like, how, what? when is hopscotch hard? Oh, yeah, I guess. Well, is it about- actually? If anything, they should have old people do it. Like that would make balance. That's the challenge. I I actually don't even know how to play it. We used to just make up our own rules. You throw a rock, I've, whatever it is, bend over. I don't. Either know. way, it's like you just jump. Like how hard could it be? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe even if like the the box weren't touching. Oh my god! Other. It should be like a um, it should be a sobriety test, a road sobriety test. <laughs> but like I, 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 the, I the, 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 the the cop like chalks real quick on, hand, on his hands and knees. <laughs> No, not even real quick. Like, you're just, like, standing there. Yeah, right. And he's, like, trying to make it perfect. He's, like, changing colors. That's funny. And then you have to roll the rock. Yeah. You did it wrong. <laughs> um, I have jump ship. Jump with a bad wagon. I said that. Jump to conclusions. Get jumped. We've all been there. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Thank God. But, um, yeah, that's when you are kind of mugged. You guys, when you're you're beat up by multiple people in a, in a surprise fashion, well, I guess it's never in a it's never in a uh, you know you're a, well, no alerted. Would, yeah, fashion. No, no one really voluntarily like. But it does it does give you the feeling of surprise, right? Like you were yeah, jumped. You, you were know. jumped because like if even if you are planning on going to the old fisticuffs, hey, meet me by the flagpole. Oh, right, because there's also no reason for it. Yeah, well, it, 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 it wasn't an altercation. I'm not mad at you. It's not road rage. No, it, you no, were jumped. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it can be like you're going to a fight. Like, uh, I didn't know that. I'm, I thought it always had to be a surprise. I'm going to go fight Tommy down th- uh, down the street. And so you go and you put your fists up. Pound, pound. All of a sudden, Tommy's four friends jump in. Oh, is it is it an uneven fight? It's kind of like you're just filling the sentence. Like it's people jumping in to fight oh, you. Oh, yeah. Like double dutch. Like, yeah. So like, yeah, jump in. So you're being like, they're jumping in. That's like the surprise. Like, it's, right. Jump in. Not not a, not a good thing. And um, jump up. I'm looking at your old Dr. Seuss book. Um, jump up is that's in Trinidad. Uh, I guess in any kind of carnival situation, that's when they're um, when you you're in carnival dancing and you're doing a jump up. Um, act jumpy. Have you ever heard of that? Like yeah. That? Oh. It's like when you have that. Yeah, you're acting a little jumpy there. Yeah, you're a little. Someone, you're on edge. Yeah, a little. Yeah, a little. Yeah. A little bit suspicious too. Yeah. Why yeah. are you so jumpy? If you're on the computer and then someone like taps your shoulder, yeah, you jump. It's like, 
Why are you jump? Why are you acting jumpy? Why? Why acting jumpy? <laughs> Hello. What are you <laughs> cheating on me? I didn't know that's what the problem was. Um, <laughs> in the Bible, okay. So remember, when you're looking at the Bible, we always talk about what do we talk about in the Bibles? Uh, God. The translations. Yeah. <laughs> the translations. So if I say to you, "Do you know the word jump is in the Bible six times?" You're going to say. Not true. It's in the Bible one time. Yeah. And then I'm going to say, no, it's not. And I'm going to show you my new new international version Bible. And then, you, But you're going to hold up your King James version Bible. And you're going to say, it's only jump in here one time. And I'm going to say, well, it's in here six times. Does that mean that the Bibles don't match or what? They, uh, they do. It's just sometimes different word choices. It'll say leap. Exactly. Leap of faith. Leap. It's jump of faith. I don't know. It's It's used interchangeably, jump and leap. If you really try to pin down the difference between jump and leap, supposedly jump is up and down and leap is a, you you do have forward motion like if you oh. leap off the boat. Okay. If you jump on a boat, you might not go overboard. Yeah, a leap of faith is you're jumping off something. Yeah. A jump of faith is you could just be right back where you're at. Right. So, if you want to know the Bible verse that I grabbed just for jump, um it's when the... heater 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 <laughs> heater and hole. Peter Heals the lame beggar. and He's um, so lame. <laughs> Why are you so lame? He's begging for money. He was begging for money. And Peter and uh, John are going, is the church or something. And, and, and Peter says, I'm not going to give you coins, but this is what I am going to give you. And he, he holds his hand. He says, get up. He gets up. The guy, I, I, I used to be unable to walk. And he's so happy, he jumps up, and then he continues to jump. He 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 um he goes with them as they're walking, and he's walking and jumping and praising God. Yeah. And he's really really happy. He gets the attention of all the people. Number one, because if anyone jumps and walks and praises God, you're going to look at them. But yeah. number two, because they recognize him as the guy, the lame guy, <clears throat> the lame guy from church. <laughs> Wasn't lame anymore. And um. Everyone's so impressed with Peter and John and said, look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. And then Peter sets everybody straight. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. I'm just it was the, the guy you just crucified. Oh. Do you remember him? Do you remember the guy <laughs> that was supposed to get off because Pilate wanted him off, but you said no? He, oh, because, uh, okay. So the most important part of the, the, this story of Peter and the lame beggar is that he, he literally says to the beggar before he holds his hand, this is in the name of Jesus Christ. And he walks. Mm. So then in the end, Peter sets everyone straight and says, it wasn't me. Nice. So, yeah. So jumping, I mean, jumping's exuberant. It's a, uh, you can't contain yourself when you're, yeah. when you're, when you're jumping. Physical manifestation. Yeah, exactly. It's, um, it's almost like you're, you're, you're trying to, you're jumping out of your body. It's like, and, um, yeah, I think you said a lot in the Bible of just like this sort of, comparison to this like jumping for the lord it, it just it just goes to show that pure excitement that like it almost can't be held within right right and um yeah we should we should jump more you know think it and, i mean there's definitely some like metaphors to be made about just like the obviously we're confined to our bodies and gravity and stuff but like jumping is this sort of like momentary like jumping away from the earth and like you're you're just pure bliss right you 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 um teach the little kids or do they jump when they get happy yeah right so i'm guessing we are uh, we, we learn to stop doing that yeah because we we don't jump out of our seats generally unless it's a, a sports if you're watching sports on tv yeah you, know, you will I, everyone jumps look at a doritos commercial but <laughs> <clears throat> sorry to keep clearing my throat um but you, you generally learn to even when you're feeling very um very inspired or happy or you know at a wedding or or i don't know people generally do not jump out of their seats or jump up and down um they don't feel comfortable i don't feel it's yeah no jump. it's a, it's, a, it's definitely it'll, it'll get some some looks yeah but yeah i think there's a lot of things in life like that where it's like we almost we almost confine ourselves in in this fake prison that we've created for ourselves mm -hmm. where it's like i can't do that i can't do anything 
outwardly outward expression it's like i gotta keep everything inside but sometimes it's good even if it's by yourself yeah right like i think there's a lot of things you can just do by yourself that you might even think you're silly but it's like just do it like you know uh, something you do it with your smile your smile alarm that gets everyone else mad in the house <laughs> when your smile alarm goes off it's it just yeah. uh, reminds you to smile and it's like well why are you smiling you have nothing to be happy about it's like Ah, because people go too long without smiling. You know, it's like, what's what's wrong with with smiling unconsciously, like yeah. or, or for without reason, but frowning without reason is fine. Oh, right. I have, I have RBI right. or RBI, I have RBF, and it's like ah, I I don't even know that I was frowning. Yeah, it's, why can't you switch it? It's like, well, that would look crazy if I was walking around smiling all the time. Yeah. It's like. Why? Because it's and, your, it's your mental health, which is invisible. Yeah. And you know they tell you if you're on a if you're on a long distance plane, if you're gonna go to if you're gonna go to Japan from here, and, and you're gonna be on the plane for 15 hours or whatever, get up because your legs shouldn't be still that long. Yeah. Get up and walk, and that's a physical something that they could see on an MRI. Yeah. But but if you haven't smiled in 15 hours, there's nobody ever says no. You better smile, you know. Yeah, exactly. And and jumping's another one. And be silly, be childlike. Um. Yeah, like you were, you were right. It, it's like, why, why do we do these things? As a, I, I think there's two people that you can always look for in different aspects of of things, and neither of them are our ages, which is the middle. I think young kids and old and old people. You're right. I think are there's things that they do that can always be. What is the like? Well, there's benefit in it yeah. old people you, you see and it's sort of kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum i started walking instead of running like through the park every morning for exercise because i saw the old people doing it right and i found so much more of a piece of like what's the rush right and then you know i work with kids and, and there's a lot of things that i in i i see them doing and i find value in of just the bliss and excitement of life right and i and i, and I, I in a you know and in a spiritual way there is sort of also this aspect of they are the two closest things to whatever spirituality right. just being created and almost returning back to that place. You're right. And in the middle, we forget a lot of it. Yeah. We like, In the middle, it's we get in the hamster wheel of I'm not jumping. I got to I got to run. I got to work out. And it's like learn from the kids and, and, and do fun things. I just thought of this learn yesterday. Learn from the old people. And slow I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. That's, <laughs> no, all, that's, that's all I'm saying. But I, I'm, de- I'm on board and I, it was just a, you know, it was an overlay. I wasn't ignoring you. Uh, I thought of this yesterday and for so long, I was afraid of looking crazy. If, yeah. you, if you wear that or do that or say that, you'll, you're going to look crazy. And, and yesterday I was like, and this is so lame. Talk about the lame beggar. <laughs> this is a lame podcaster. I should have been, it, sh- it was crazy for me to be afraid. That's it. Oh, I was yeah. so afraid to look crazy, but it was crazy to be afraid. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? But guys, that's our podcast. So go out and jump. Jump around. Jump around our playlist and look how watch more there videos. There you go. Uh, I mean, you jump right on that subscribe button. <laughs> Peace, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to start ending it for you. Oh my god, it was jumping on one leg.